it's your girl a marie and today we're going to be doing another declutter if you guys haven't seen the series of this go round of declutters i will have the playlist linked up there in the cards this is about maybe the first time in my youtube history that i'm actually decluttering my eyeshadow palettes we ended off the last video with eyeshadow palette drawer number one and y'all we got rid of a lot we're gonna go ahead and kick this video off with some more eyeshadow palettes so don't forget to like comment and subscribe share with your friend if they love declutters or if you love my channel hit the notification bell follow me on all my social medias and make sure to check out my Poshmark as well as my business website where you would possibly find some of these makeup products that I have been decluttering. If y'all want the whole backstory, go to episode one and check it out because I explain everything that's going on right now and I just want to keep it up. All right, you guys, I am on a roll when it's coming to these eyeshadow palettes. And like I said before, y'all, I barely, barely declutter eyeshadow palettes. So with the way I'm going right now, I can't stop. I got to keep it up and I got I to gotta keep doing good. Hope you guys got y'all snacks and drinks. Because <laughs> baby we about to do the damn thing okay so this is the second drawer i already see a couple of them that i'm about to declutter and I'm telling you guys this is something new for you girl because i don't declutter so for one my fancy galaxy palette you guys i literally swatched this but never applied these to my eyes so guess what i am going to get rid of this well not get rid of this i'm gonna sell it over on my website we still have the box and all damn near brand new if you guys want it head over to my website and snatch it up all right y'all this is about to get cray cray my Huda Beauty Desert Desk Palette. You guys, I was in love with this palette. I used it a whole lot. Let me bring y'all in some. There we go. I used this a whole lot, but you guys, honestly, I'm about to put this in the maybes pile because I really don't even reach for this no more. My Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics. You guys, I think I'm going to forever keep this. Um... This Carly Bible with all of the neutral colors and all of the highlighters have been my favorite for a very long time. And if I want an everyday natural look, I will pull for this. I don't use it that much no more on camera because don't nobody talk about this no more. But on my own to myself, I use this. My BH Cosmetics take me to Brazil. You guys, I'm finally going to get rid of this. I've had this for a while. I think my nieces will enjoy it. I have another colorful palette that I love way more. So, yeah, I'm going to let that go. Honestly, I'm going to let this one go too. The Too Faced, the Too Faced, the Power of Makeup with Nikki Tutorials. I kept this for the longest because of the support of Nikki Tutorials. Never even used it, but I kept it for the longest in support of her. But now, it's that time. All right, my KVD Pastels palette. Ugh, the Pastel Goth palette. You guys swatched it, talked about it in palettes I regret. Still never used it. So guess what? She goes. My Sigma Warms Neutral Volume 2 palette. You guys, Sigma sent me this as NPR. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I did a couple of videos with this. If you search A. Marie Beauty and Sigma Beauty, you would get all of the videos. I'm going to keep this because I absolutely love it. My ColourPop Element Surprise, I'm about to get rid of. I don't remember where I got this palette from, but I loved it because it's the beautiful warm colors. But you guys, 
I touch this color and that's it. Like this color and this color. I don't use it. So guess what? She goes. Same thing with Winky Lux. Who is this by? BoxyCharm Kitten Palette. Y'all, I kept this for so long due to, I think it was this shade. And I got it in BoxyCharm and I thought like, okay, I'm going to use it. It survived a lot of declutters, but now it is time. My Pure and so Savari, so Sorore Diaries. Y'all, I like this, but um, I think that's mold <laughs> on the palette. I don't know if you could tell, but right there, that white dot, I think that's mold. So we're going to throw this in the trash. All right, my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette, not going nowhere. I absolutely love this. Y'all, if y'all go catch up on my declutters, y'all will be surprised that I actually let go a couple of Juvia's Place palettes. But the Warriors 2, I can't. It's an all mattes, beautiful palette. Can't let it go. My Violet Boss Holy Grail palette, I am going to finally let it go. And with that being said, with me letting go this one, I think I can keep my Huda Beauty Desert Dust because they play very close in shades. So I'm going to keep the Huda Beauty, let go of the Violet Boss. So my Tarte Toasted Palette, I'm going to keep. I got this not too long ago and I absolutely love these shades and colors. So that stays. My Tarte Tartiest Palette. Tart Tartlet palette. Y'all can't even remember. I think I like this one. No. I'm going to let this one go as well. Too cool tone, but this black is absolutely amazing. But all of the rest of the shades are just way too cool tone for me. All right, my two makeup forever palettes, y'all. I have number three and number two. These are hard to let go because when me and my wife first started dating, she used to take me to Sephora all the time and she would just buy me a random palette and these two were one of them. These two were a part of it. So I loved Makeup Forever back then and I guess it was because she bought them for me, but I can't let them go yet. I'm not ready. They're like too sentimental for me. Here is number two. Beautiful shades, don't get me wrong, but I, I just can't let them go yet. Moving on to the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude. I had this way too long. Oops. Had this one way too long. It's time to finally get rid of her. My Alamar Cosmetics. What is this? Sorry if y'all hear the kids in the background. Um, this just says Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1. Got it in BoxyCharm. I think I'm going to keep this one. One more round of declutter, you guys. I still haven't really dipped off into this, but everybody raves about it. So I think I'm going to hold on to it for one more round. My Beauty Glaze Star, Star Lisa palette. I think I'm going to, yeah. Oh, these are pretty colors, though. Okay, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one. I don't even know if Beauty Glaze is still a thing, but these are some fire colors. Were y'all even in frame? I don't even know, but look at that. Okay, now this one here, the Beauty Glaze Pressed Glitters. I know my sister Kendra gave this to me. This is my YouTube sis. I know she gave this one to me, but these are pressed glitters. I'm going to go ahead and let this go because I never played with them. And plus, Kendra has started her own cosmetic line. And she goes by Watch Me Sparkle is her cosmetic line. And she, I'm on her PR and I have a whole bunch of glitters from her. So having these pressed glitters, I'm nine times out of ten probably not going to use. Never, And I never used it. So... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. All right, my Morphe 15N. I think I got this one in BoxyCharm. Yes, I did. I'm going to go ahead and let go of this one as well. Got this one in BoxyCharm. The purplish with the lighter browns. 
just wasn't my cup of tea. I'm more of a warm tone girl, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. My Hard Candies Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Pro Book. I think I did a video on this, but eh, I'm gonna go ahead and let that go too because I don't use it. All right, my Carity Palette. I think I'm gonna let this one go too. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. When Carity first came out, or when Carity first had the hype of the palettes, eyeshadows, I bought a whole eyeshadow palette and put my own singles in it. And I think the only one that I really want to keep is Coco Beer, which is this pretty brown. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let go this one. Let me see what this other shade looks like. Because in this drawer, I do still have my BoxyCharm Z palette. And ugh, if I could open it. I said I was going to hold on to it a little bit longer. So I could add that right there. I could do away with this duo chrome. Um, let me look at this other this other brown shade right here and see I not nah I'm gonna get rid of all these except for that one well get rid of this y'all just try to block out the kids they just don't understand when mama is working mama is working so the next one is going to be the pure festivals palette this is 12 piece press pigment palette i think i got this in a boxy charm if i'm not mistaken and i think i used it for boxy charm purposes but i haven't used it since so yeah i'm doing seriously too good my Jazzy Girl Cosmetics, this eyeshadow palette, I'm going to let go. This one here, I'm going to let go as well. My Tarte Tartius Pro Palette, the Amazonian Clay Palette. Let me see. I think I got this in a boxy charm too, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did. And I barely used it. So I'm going to see if anybody wants to purchase it. If not, then I'm just going to do away with it. All right. My Beauty Institution Throw Shade Metallic and Matte Eyeshadow Palette that I got from Five Below. I did a whole Five Below makeup look. If you search A Marie Beauty and Five Below, it'll come up. I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. But I think this one that I got from Five Below, the Perfusions Neutral 9 Pan, I think I'm going to keep it because I actually did like this and I never seen Perfusion look like this. So I think I'm going to keep that one. Juvia's Place Tribe Palette, you guys. I'm not even going to open this. This one is a keeper as well as my Saharan 2 Palette keeper and there we have it let's put all this back together and we'll move on to the next drawer all right so what i'm gonna try to do is see if i can fit any of these palettes here that are on the smaller side and then i'll fill this one up since i got some room over here i think my juvia's places are too big to go right there so I was able to fit every last one of these eyeshadow palettes in this one freaking drawer. All three of these Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette stays. The Zulu palette, which is my favorite, stays. And then the Festival palette, she stays. Like, I love every last one of these. We also have the Perfusions spectrum palette that i absolutely love all mattes but colorful so we're gonna keep that y'all this riviera palette baby i'm not even gonna lie to y'all we selling this 
I wanted that for so long and did not actually use it and love it like talking about. So it's no point. I waited so long to actually buy that. And I waited till it went on sale to buy it. To actually get it from Ulta when they was having a sale. And I didn't even really use it. So here's the Bretman Rock and Wet, Wet and Wild. You guys, I got this off of Poshmark from a lady that I absolutely love to follow. She gets all of the new stuff and she turns around and resells it for cheaper. Um, haven't used it yet, Jungle Rock. Haven't used it yet. I heard mixed feelings about it. So I wanna keep it and test it out for myself. My, why is this over here? Okay, my Saharan blush palette. Um, Ivy, I never used it. That is very obvious. So we're gonna go ahead and sell it. I guess I don't like this one like I like the other one. So we're gonna sell it. No need to keep it. My Crown Pro palette I got from um, BoxyCharm. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Didn't really like it like that. My Nomad, they sent me this for review purposes. If y'all search A Marie Beauty and Nomad, y'all will see it on my channel. This is the Intense Eyeshadow Palette. It wasn't my favorite, and honestly, as you can tell, you see this, the palette is coming apart. It wasn't my favorite, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Girl, I'm doing good. My BH Cosmetics After Hours Party Girl palette. Y'all, it's time to, like, literally throw this away. So that one needs to go. My Medusa from the Dollar General, I think it was. It's the 36 eyeshadow with blushes. I had this for a long time too, y'all, and I killed certain colors. I think it's time to let this one go. Ooh, another one of my AFU, Deep Sensations eyeshadow palette. What was the other one? The other one looks just like this one. Ooh, this one's pretty. I think I'm gonna keep this one. This one's pretty. No need to talk about it. I'm keeping my perfusions. Sienna's palette. Y'all know that's one of my favorites. As well as my Sephora Pro palette. This one is the Pro Pigment palette. I wanna get the colorful one too. Oh wait, this one is the colorful one. Okay, so I wanna get the other one. But I'm keeping this one too. I love these. Sephora Pros, I'm keeping that. My LA Girl Eyeshadow Palette, Fierce Wild. Fierce and Wild Eyeshadow Palette. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I did a look with this one as well, I believe. So I'm gonna keep it for right now since it is newer to me. My Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. I got this one from the same lady off of Poshmark, brand new, haven't really dipped off into it, so I'm keeping that. My She Bad Cosmetics Paparazzi Palette. Y'all, I really did like this palette. I think I have another one too by She Bad. So let me put this one in the maybe and let me see. I'm gonna throw this piece away. This Beauté Basics Palette. This is a 36 color. Palette. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's cute. I don't even know what this is. Okay. Yeah, I could get rid of this. My Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette in Hashtag. I think. I know I wanted this for so long. But y'all, crazy as it sounds, I think I'm going to sell this one. My Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place. Y'all, look at this. She looks a hot mess. But I think I'm going to put this one in my makeup freelance kit. Y'all, this Lorac Pro palette. Oh my God. This was one of the first palettes I bought from Sephora. Like when I actually started shopping at Sephora. When I first started my YouTube channel. And oh y'all. I used to kill this palette and it still looks good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Y'all, this is like a throwback. But guess what? I'm going to keep it. Look, still freaking good. I'm going to keep it. This one is Boxy Charms. I think this was a few months ago. And this one is Hello Charmers. I absolutely like this one so i'm gonna keep it here is another afu deluxe eyeshadow palette i'm gonna sell this one this one's a little too neutral tone for your girl and then the last one y'all i did good this is the shiny cosmetics um 40 piece eyeshadow palette that i got a, a while ago and i used to use the heck out of it but I'm over it now, so I'm gonna give this to somebody. Okay, so so far I'm gonna keep the She Bad Cosmetics paparazzi. So I'm gonna try to put my Juvia's places together. Y'all, I did not keep many palettes, literally. I kept four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 palettes. Let's go ahead and move on to the last drawer. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I do have this eyeshadow palette from LA Girls that I haven't used yet. It was in my new pile. So I am gonna keep this. It's Get Feverish eyeshadow palette. I am gonna keep this, but I kinda want to place some palettes in like a new drawer type of vibe. But for right now, that one's going to go there and we're going to keep that. Okay, so the Deep Sensation eyeshadow palette from AFU. Um, let's look at it because I never could remember what they look like from just the palettes. Okay, yeah. Cool tones, not my vibe. So I'm going to get rid of this one, but I'm pretty sure I did a look on this one as well so y'all can search a marie beauty afu and i'm pretty sure you'll see all of those all right this beauties what is this the beauty creations elsa palette you guys i did a video with this palette as well it was super cute when i did it search a marie beauty and elsa and you should be able to spot it on my channel beautiful colors beautiful shades but i think this is like a limited edition type of ordeal so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter all right this palette here as well this is the coastal scents now y'all know i love me some coastal scents hmm, i love me some coastal scents this is the 252 eyeshadow colors this has like i think like four rows three or four rows of many different colors sorry of many different colors and uh, i can't see y'all okay this one had many different colors it has like different eyeshadows and i use this for a long time <laughs> god bless the truth and these worked out really really well like they worked really well and i still love them to this day but i have so many colorful palettes and stuff now and nobody talks about coastal scent no more so i'm gonna go ahead and give this one away here is another coastal scents this was the ones when coastal scent used to do all of those sales where their little single eyeshadows were like I want to say like maybe 50 cents or so y'all these were it and i really want to keep it these that's in the boxy charm z palette i'm gonna go through right now and sift through the ones i want i'm gonna keep the coastal scent and get rid of whatever i could put in here
All right, so I'm gonna keep these and I'm gonna set these to the side. And then this one here I could get rid of, but we're gonna need another Z palette. Sorry, you guys, that I had to put y'all on mute for a second. My aunt called and she's not feeling so well, so I had to talk to her to deal with her groceries. All right, so the box of crayons, y'all, I'm literally on the fence about this one. Before I even started doing the declutter, I was like, you know what, yep, I'm going to declutter the box of crayons, but I'm thinking I wanna give it another chance, see if it survives to the next declutter. My Perfusions Festival palette, you guys, I love this one, but I am gonna go ahead and do away with it as well as my bh cosmetics club tropicana and the who is this guy i don't know blit blizzard 28 colors this one looks like this i just had these for a while and i don't reach for them no more so might as well just let them go now my bh cosmetics contour and blush is what it say Contour and blush number two. I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. Oh, let's see which Morphe this is. Oh, 3502. Y'all, I think I'm actually gonna let this one go because I think I got 3502 and I like that one way better. So, and I got a Jaclyn Hill one that I like better. Here is my Jaclyn Hill very first palette with Morphe. This one is the 3502 or just the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the one that I'm speaking of that I like better than the other one. And I have the brand new one, which is somewhere in one of these drawers I'm gonna keep. And then I got my soft glam. I know y'all didn't think I actually got almost every palette from ABH and not have the soft glam. Soft glam is my number one favorite and i'm gonna keep that one that one is just like the modern renaissance my kvd y'all the kvd matte metals this was in the videos i regret and i think i'm gonna sell it y'all i don't think i'm ever gonna use it so i think it's, it has to go Oh, and here's another one of these palettes, the P120, number five. I believe I got this off eBay or Amazon or something like that. I used the crap out of this too, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that along and let somebody else enjoy it. Since we got room right here, I am going to slide this box of crayons. We're going to try, you guys. We're going to try to make the box of crayons work one more time and literally out of that drawer you guys I kept one two three palettes that's really good so I am gonna quickly go through the very last one and now I got two free drawers we're gonna quickly go through this one as well and whatever we could fit into this drawer, we will. And then we'll have some free freaking drawers, you guys. My Voluptuous Scents palette. Y'all, where are y'all at? My Voluptuous Scents palette, I just got, literally, I just filmed a supporting small businesses um, type of video. And this was in it. I have yet to use it because I just to be able to use around here. I need some space. So I haven't even dipped off into this. I just recorded that. So I'm going to keep that and we're going to test it out. Now, this is the palette that I was talking about in earlier where I got rid of my Milani All Mattes palette. And I said that there's a palette that I like way better and it's a matte and it's the Just Peaches Matte from Too Faced. Love this palette, always will keep it as long as I can. I will always use this and it smells so good. This was one of the best palettes Too Faced made. 
All right, let's do some debating here. The Magic Palette by Juvia. A piece of me is telling me to let this go and a piece of me is telling me to keep it. Let's look at the Masquerade. Oh yeah, I'm keeping the Masquerade. The Masquerade is like super dirty. So I know I didn't use this a whole lot. Um, The Magic Palette, it looks dirty, but I really haven't used it. So I'm gonna keep it for right now, see if it'll make it through to the next declutter and see how it goes. This one here from BH Cosmetics, the Dark Rose. Y'all had that and I stopped using it. So I'm gonna let that one go. Oh, my burst of colors eyeshadow palette. Oh, I can't show y'all. By Beauty of Jewels. Y'all, she still has a makeup line. This is her information Beauty of Jewels Cosmetics. Go check her out right now. Unfortunately, she don't she do she don't sell this palette no more. But I cannot let go this palette. I let go my uh, Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics because of this one. And I really want to let go the crayon case palette because of this one. But I'm going to give crayon case another go. But this one here will never go nowhere. I just won't use it on camera because she no longer sells this palette. But this is my favorite colorful palette. All right, my Beauty Glaze Poppin' Eyeshadow Palette. I believe my sister Kendra gave me this for my birthday. I'm going to let it go. I don't even really use this like talking about. Y'all, what, what happened? Here's my other She Bad Cosmetics palette that I was talking about earlier. And she looks like this. She kind of reminds me of the Morphe palettes, but I think I'm gonna let go of this one and keep the paparazzi palette. All right, my Perfusion Wonderless palette. I'm gonna keep this for right now. I do really enjoy this, so I'm gonna hold on to it. What is this one? The 35Y. Pretty sure I got it from Amazon, eBay, or something like that. Pretty colors. But I don't think I really used it, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm doing good, you guys. Here is my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. All right, and that was my sister. But anyways, my Jaclyn Hill, this is the newest one, the Volume 2. I'm keeping this beauty. She's not going nowhere. But I think I am going to go ahead and do away with the packaging. All because it's all going to get dirty anyway. I just, I don't know how to keep whites white. So, I'm going to keep that. And then this one, 35, 3503, brand spanking new to my collection. And I'm going to keep it because I haven't really used it. I did a palette bingo, my very first makeup bingo. So search A. Marie Beauty bingo. And the only bingo makeup look I did. I believe was with this one or the Jaclyn Hill one. I honestly don't even remember because I got both of these at the same time. So, this one is a keeper as well. I cleared out three freaking drawers. Can y'all believe that? Holy crap. I was able to fit the Voluptuous Scents in here, right here. And I'm actually going to put it on top. My Just Peachy went back here. And then, boom, bam. And look at this. Literally. Oh, my God. It would be these dubious places that don't want to fit. Okay. Let's play some Tetris real quick. And y'all enjoy ASMR. All right, that's how I was able to do it. 
I have two full drawers, you guys. Two full drawers. And then we have three palettes that don't fit. We did way better than I actually thought. And I do have like some more palettes and stuff. Like this is a PR drawer. This is the BoxyCharm drawer. But I'm going to rearrange all that once we get done doing all the declutters and stuff. Like once we get down here, I am going to bring this up and move the lipsticks and stuff like that. And put the newer BoxyCharm stuff in here. That is it for this video, you guys. I did really good and I'm really proud of myself. Um, I'm going to show y'all all of the palettes that we are getting rid of. I am super shocked. All these palettes we are getting rid of. This pile over here is the sale pile. And this pile over here is the declutter rehome pile. And it actually drags all the way up there. I will probably have all these palettes on my website. But I still have some products on my Poshmark that I haven't taken down and pushed over to my website. So if you want to check out my website, see if it's anything you want, it'll be there. And check out my Poshmark and see if it's anything you want. It will be there until everything on my Poshmark is gone. And then I'll close out my Poshmark. Give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Y'all got to really give me a thumbs up for this one. Yes, in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one. Next couple of drawers is coming soon. Deuces.